My name is Kevin Bray. I'm uh, an artist in residency at the Rex Academy and I'm going to exhibit uh, at home. Originally, I'm actually doing mostly videos, but it turns out that my videos are expanding and kind of taking over uh, spaces uh, and more and more since I am here. Uh, and this is going to be the case uh, at FOM. Because my work is also talking about the relationship we have with tools and technologies. Uh, technologies in also a really extended way, like in a really broad way. So when I'm considering technologies, I'm even thinking of, um, of uh, typography and uh, science. By using a lot of other tools and technologies um, to make images, paintings, uh, videos, and uh, sculptures uh, that are manifesting themselves in uh, different shapes. So a sculpture can be just a painting, a uh, painting can be a sculpture, a video can be a painting. Uh, it's, it's actually morphing and that's why also actually the video um, that I'm exhibiting at FOM is called uh, Morpher. So this idea that uh, a shape is becoming another shape, is becoming another shape, uh, always recalling new stories and past stories. I studied uh, graphic design and uh, in graphic design actually, uh, in order to produce quickly, uh, you at a certain point you are turning towards uh, digital softwares. If I'm talking about photography in my work and what influenced me the most is maybe like this idea of uh, photography but in, uh, in cinema. So like the, the, you know, the director of photography. So the one who is actually judging of like if a scene is well uh, created or well um, displayed, which is like photography related, but me, I, I'm more coming from this type of influence. For Foam 3H nodigen we uh, jonge kunstenaars uit die uh, veelal experimenteren met het medium fotografie en de grenzen van dat medium ook heel erg oprekken. Kevin is daarvan een uitgesproken voorbeeld en hij gebruikt de ruimte van Foam 3H op een hele inventieve en uitdagende manier. I think there is this kind of weird relationship that I have with uh, technologies, like in, in which actually I'm uh, I'm excited by them as much as I'm a bit uh, also uh, not disgusted, but uh, I don't. I, sometimes I don't like the way people are using technologies, and I want to experiment with them. I want to break them, like uh, to to see like what what is good to take out of them. Just trying to depict like what this tension, this weird tension that we have with them. We can actually express ourselves better, but we can also enclose your, ourselves. You know, we can um, create a trap for ourselves. And uh, what I'm doing in my in this painting in room one is that uh, I'm actually making a composition of like different type of landscape together. Uh, so it's some kind of, it's almost an abstraction of like uh, what could be possible to show in the background of a movie. A fiction is a fiction and you should be aware of it when you are looking at it. So it was breaking the fourth wall uh, really often, like in order for the audience to get less dumb uh, from believing uh, in the fiction.
Morpher is the story of everyone. Uh, everyone is the main character. He's called everyone. He's certainly gonna become uh, anyone at certain point, and possibly also someone. Uh, and uh, this character is trying to understand himself or itself, uh, thanks to the technologies and thanks to symbols that he's crossing. He's lost. Um, sometimes he's finding himself again, or he thinks he thinks that he it is finding itself, but it's never really the case. And uh, it's quite a complicated uh, loop of like being and uh, being and seeing. Wat ik interessant vind aan de Morpho video is dat het begint als een hyper fotografische bewegende video gebaseerd op um, beelden van de realiteit zoals je die uit fotografie kent zoals bijvoorbeeld Google Street uh, View. Dan plotseling gaat het over in een wereld die compleet verzonnen is. Dus niks meer met fotografie uh, te maken heeft. En die tegenstelling in die video, die vind ik heel uh, interessant en dat sprak me aan. Er is quite some repetition in my, uh, in my images. En uh, in de vormen in, uh, die are invited in mijn images. Because mijn images zijn niet alleen paintings, maar ze zijn ook de storyboard van mijn video. that my work strangely is also becoming site specific so I like also to play with like the way the space is uh, and I'm embracing it and after there is three huge windows uh, and uh, I don't I, I, I don't need I don't want light uh, in the sense that uh, there is a video uh, but the windows are there and uh, actually the way to wide lights is to put curtains. <laughs> so why don't we design the curtains? Uh, and since we are hiding outside, maybe I could uh, actually um, simulate the outside being something else than what it is. And so the curtain which is hiding the window, uh, window which is uh, also the fiction, uh, becoming the, um, the carpet, which is welcoming actually the one that wants to see the fiction, make the one that wants to see the fiction also a fiction, or something like that. And I don't know, it's exciting to me. <laughs>